How you going guys? I'm out on the CF Moto 450 MT. I do have it for a period of time. I'm taking it on a ride uh, from Sydney to Armidale, or from Singleton to Armidale. I started in Singleton. And I'll supply the map on my um, on my YouTube channel underneath the link. So uh, you guys can come out and ride it and see where I was doing my testing. It feels really good so far. I've been on the road. I've just come to the dirt. We'll keep moving. And uh, yeah, well, I'll get footage as we're going along and I'll talk about anything that, I've, that comes up and how the suspension is and all that sort of stuff. So stay tuned. Alrighty, we're on the dirt. I'm on the stock tyres. Yeah, I'm just easing into it. I'm not going to be um, rushing in. It feels good. Often quite skatey through here. Traction's off. ABS is off. Oh, it's taking these little corrugations pretty well on the standard suspension. Beautiful country around here, good place to test ride a bike. Yeah, this is great. But it's it's very stable. I'm finding the bike extremely stable. Wow. I could I could really do with the taller seat right now though, I will admit. I will admit that I can on the road it was fine. But like when I come here, come through here and I'm, I'm standing up, waiting the pegs, waiting the outside peg. And then sometimes, you know, I just want to, well, I don't need to be standing up and I'll go to sit down and it's just, I'm just sitting down quite far. So yeah, definitely upgrade to the taller seat. I have worked out the ABS off and on so here I am I'm coming up to a dirt section now this is pretty much dirt all the way through so for quite a long time so here I am I just come down here I press on off there we go switches into off-road mode I don't know if you have to, I think when you back the throttle off it kicks in I think uh, I may do it I've, may just keep doing it because I have backed the throttle off a couple of times while I've been testing it so I'm not too sure so we're in off-road mode now we don't have to stop we just keep moving and if I want to switch it back off this corner there's some big cows there come around this corner 
and then this one so I can concentrate I don't want to be looking down while I've got corners on me back it off a bit so now if I want to go let's just say I'll go back onto the road there you go ABS back on everything's on I don't know what it's like let's have a look well it feels oh well it's not too slippery here so let's have a go I could feel traction control working then but it's not too slippery here, it's kind of hard packed dirt, there's a little bit of loose stuff. So let's hit the brakes. Oh. Yeah, but you know, I'm not in full on off road mode here. Not too bad. I don't know what the uptake is having uh, traction and all that on this but I'll tell you what out of the box you got a great bike uh, you know I'm 105 kilos plus my riding gear 111 plus my luggage on the back I do have a little bit of luggage because I'm going overnight I'm not camping but and I've got all my tools just in case I've got a tube although they're tubeless tyres always carry his tube so here we go so I'm on road mode I'll do the brakes again yep not too bad at all actually felt quite good So, you know, it doesn't really matter, I guess. So, if you want to keep it in your ABS on or off, your traction on or off. I did feel the traction control work before, so I guess it's quite intrusive. If, you know, you want to really rip in and have a good go, or if you're on loose gravel, or if you're going over corrugations, that's when you notice it. So I'll put it back on, go down the fifth gear, hit it, there you go, it's on, back in off-road mode, that easy. So I'm on kilometre 368, still loving it loving it more because I'm getting more used to it you learn how a bike moves and behaves over a course of a day We're making our way to Armadale and that's where I'll end the map. This is the CF Moto 450 MT adventure bike pickup test. Alright, it's over. I've just shy of a full tank of petrol. I've got a bag on the back as well. Let's see how we go. Oh, that's pretty easy. That wasn't too bad at all. I'm really happy with that. I'm not sure what the, the dry weight or the wet weight is. I, on that I'll have to check up on it, I'll put it up on the screen but I actually picked that up quite easily and I do have a bag on the back I don't have panniers on but if it had panniers on it wouldn't tip over as far it's probably even going to be a bit easier to pick up 
So there you have it, the CF Moto 450 MT pickup test. Done. Hi right, guys, I've been out test riding the CF Moto 450 MT in Australia, in the Hunter region of New South Wales. I have clocked up so far 870 kilometres. I would say 90% of that has been off-road, agricultural, forestry roads, ruts, and uh, erosions and corrosions and all sorts of things. So the clutch is super light. I love that. I'll always ride with one finger on the clutch and one finger on the brake, you know, just in case I come across, you know, animals or whatever. Uh, in Australia, that's how we have to ride. I suggest most adventure riders probably ride like that because you've got to be ready to hit your brakes at all times. I like that. I like the switching between ABS on and ABS off. I think it only switch off ABS on the back anyway because the front always stays on but the braking on this is is excellent because the bike's not too heavy let's just say you come into it what I found is if I was getting a little bit carried away and I'd come into a tight corner you can just you just ease the brakes on and, and it just pulls up because it doesn't have too much forward motion it's not too heavy So the, the clutch, the brakes, the um, ABS on and off, the dash, it's really simple to use. The ABS on and off, um, I've got the standard tyres on here, I've tried it on and off, it just comes down to personal preference, uh, if you want to have your, your ABS on or off. On the rear, the traction control, again, it's a personal preference. I used it, it off-road, it definitely works. It cuts in and it, and it, and it will pull, it'll just stop you, your back wanting to go out, the back of the bike. The suspension comes out of the box fairly, I mean, I'm, I'm six foot one, 105 kilos, I've got all my riding gear. I've got my luggage on the back with my tools because I've, I've been on an overnight trip. And I'm, like I said, I'm confident riding some way out into the, out into the bush. The stand-up position for me, being six foot one, is perfect. That's, um, it, I, I'm really comfortable. I've, I've actually had to stand up, and I'll go through why. Because this model, the bike that I, was, that I have here, has the low seat. Being six foot one, um... What I was finding is when I was going from sit down to stand up position, it's a little bit long for me to go, a, a, a long way. But it's actually, it's not that bad. Like I've, I've been riding it sitting down and I'm not getting sore, sore knees or anything. Um, I just like my bike's always a little bit taller um, because that's just my, that suits me. You can get an upgraded seat for, I'm not sure how much it is, but the CF Moto guys do it. I can't, I've heard, it's like a couple hundred dollars to get an upgrade to the taller seat, which is amazing. Um, it's got USB and USC already built in, so you can put your phone on, add your GPS app whatever you use with the other thing that I really like is the screen you can do this on the fly so not only can you do your traction control and ABS on the fly you can also do your screen up and down and I did use that absolutely so you, you get it you come off the dirt and I like to put it down and then when I get onto the road section I just click it up while I'm riding just look reach hand forward with my left hand and just click it up Exhaust sounds awesome. It's got such a nice note to it. See, see if I can, if you guys can hear the exhaust really well, just just to get an idea on what it does sound like. I'll start it up with the microphone next to it. You, yeah, it sounds really good.
Yeah, and when you're riding, it sounds even better. Yeah, it's awesome. Anyway, it's a thumbs up for me, that's for sure. The throttle response is very smooth. It's very smooth. Like it's not intrusive power. That's the best way I can explain it. So maybe it's time to go over the things that I would change. And if I have this long term, potentially even own one, um, what I would do, I would change, I've heard a lot of this online about the front sprocket. I've heard a lot of talk about that. Definitely, when I'm doing 100, it's doing 6,000 revs. So I would definitely probably go, I think they go up a size. And I've seen guys on YouTube um, say that it does make a definite difference. The bash plate, I would definitely change. I would get one with a little bit more protection. There's a little stand switch down here on the stand that I would probably um, get some kind of protection for that in the future. Um, because I've got big feet and on all my bikes, I always cut off this little bit that sticks out that helps you put the stand down that you just flick your foot on because often when I'm riding, because I've got big feet, if I'm up on the pegs, I'm pushing the stand down. And I did notice, I looked around and my foot was actually pushing the stand down. But I've had that on my other bikes and I just cut it off with an angle grinder. The stock tyres that come with it, uh, you know, they've done the job. But I would go for more aggressive tyres. I don't have any, you know, I'm not sponsored or anything. I'll just tell you the tyres that I would put on this. I would put a Motos Rally... Oh, Motos Traction and Rally Z and on the front I'll put a Pirelli Scorpion Rally I think it's Race or Pro, I forgot I forgot which one it is but it's the off-road edition of it yeah, I believe there's two but you get the aggressive off-road one they last about the same and they give you really good traction off-road yeah, so there's the light, and then you go to your beam, go to the beam, the lights are a bit dirty at the moment, but, you know, they're doing the job really well. Did it well enough at night time. And the front disc is a nice big size, that does, the, that does a really good job. Really impressed with that, with the braking on this bike, I'm really impressed with it. It's not too heavy. Like you're not fighting it. You know, like the weight distribution, everything's kind of down low. And it's easy to pick up, as you saw in my pickup test, my adventure bike pickup test. It's really easy to just pick it up. It's easy to ride. As in, it's not you're not managing a big top heavy bike. Yeah, the best way you could explain it. Air filter is easily accessed. Just under the seat. The oil change looks really easy. There's just a, a sump there. There's your oil filter on the front. If you're into self-servicing. I like it when you're standing up. The seat curves out and your legs, you can sort of grip in and your legs don't slide back. They've really done their homework on this bike. I'm really, really impressed with it. Hopefully you've enjoyed some of the footage I've put up of it as well because it's actually a very capable, a very capable bike. I'm just trying to think of, because I, this is totally unscripted and totally from how I feel about it. Uh, you know, there's a, all these guards and things, you'll probably get upgrades to, you know, harder, you know, like all bikes come like that and you can just upgrade the bits and pieces on it. I really like it. I, I really and honestly, I've had really great 870 kilometres on this bike. I want to do another ride on it actually. I want to keep going. Another multi-day ride would be awesome with the tyres done. 
and the seat, the taller seat. But if you're using it for adventure riding and a commuter, it's a great all-rounder. Yeah. So anyway, um, that's my take on the CF Moto 450 MT. I hope you've enjoyed my uh, review on it, my honest review. I'm an average rider. You know, I'm not a not a racer or anything like that, but I, I do do a lot of a lot of riding. Um, and I'm just giving my honest feedback on this on this bike. Anyway, enjoy the footage that I'll put up after this, and the, hopefully you've enjoyed the footage before. I'll put a few snippets up at the, at the end of the video here. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification button. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. I really appreciate the support. Oh, one last thing. Where I take my bikes test riding, I'm going to be providing the GPX files. So you guys can then, if you're from Sydney, but if I go up to Brisbane to test ride, or I might go to Melbourne to test ride, I'll do those maps as well. But I'm based in Sydney at the moment. So my rides are out of Sydney. Sometimes I just do a one-day ride. Sometimes I'll do like that multi-day ride I've just done, Sydney to Armadale. I'll put the GPX up so you guys can go and ride it and you can see what conditions I rode the bike in. You'll, you'll, that way you'll really, you'll really know. See you on the next one. Beauty. Guy. We're on. <laughs>